Good morning. Today is Friday the 20th of October. We were fortunate recently to have a lovely holiday which included a couple of days in Devon and the majority of the time in Dorset. We were based in Wareham for some of the time and there we visited the Priory Church of Lady St Mary. It's believed that there's been a Christian presence there since the 8th century. The church is well worth a visit if you're ever nearby. Two, thing, two things struck me in particular. First, the beautiful modern stained glass window, the West Window, which is by Master Glazier Andrew Johnson and was installed in 2011 above the entrance to the church. It is dominated by a large cross and includes scenes of Wareham and the two local rivers, the River Froome and the delightfully named River Piddle. It looked wonderful when we were inside the church. If you search online, you'll be able to see how beautiful it is. One evening, we were walking back to our hotel and we noticed that the window was illuminated so that people outside the church could see it. Wow. From the outside, it looked even better. What a wonderful witness to all the people who see it in that part of the world. The other item that made an impression on me was a lot smaller, but equally memorable. It was a cross, probably about three feet high, made of chains. The chains had come from a local river ferry. Next to it were the words of John Newton's hymn, Amazing Grace. I love this hymn, especially the version by Chris Tomlin, where the chorus goes, My chains are gone, I've been set free, my God, my Saviour, has ransomed me, and like a flood his mercy reigns, unending love, amazing grace. The image of chains being cast off when we're forgiven and made new also comes in Charles Wesley's hymn, And Can It Be? My chains fell off, my heart was free. So when I saw this cross, it made me think of both those hymns. What a wonderful thing it is that through the death of our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross, we can be set free from the chains of sin. We can be forgiven and cleansed, made new, by saying we're truly sorry for what we've done wrong and asking Jesus for forgiveness. The burden of our wrongdoing is then lifted, so it is like being set free from being chained up. Then, with the help of the Holy Spirit, we can become changed people who radiate to others God's love shown to us through Jesus. Goodness knows our world needs to hear the message of love and forgiveness right now. I'll finish with a prayer. Loving God, it is truly amazing that through your grace we can be set free from sin and made new. We, ne we can never thank you enough for this. Show us how to radiate your love to others so that by our witness, more and more people will come to know you through Jesus. In his name we ask it. Amen. <laughs>